What do we got going on over here? What are these? If you missed the video of how we got all these free chickens, please click on this link above. But if you already watched it, thank you very much. Now we can move on to showing you where we put our chickens. And we're back on the farm, guys. It was a good 30 minute drive. So let's check up on these chickens, make sure they're doing pretty good back here. Y'all hold it up. Yeah. Then they're doing good. They're already asleep because it's dark in there. You, they are asleep, guys. They're not dead because I can see them breathing. They, it's just that as soon as they feel like it's dark, they go to sleep right away. All right. So now, where are we going to put these chickens? As you can hear, my dad's already working in the background. Yeah, he came up with a really good idea. I didn't think, think about the chicken tractor, but they are very small. And really, it's going to snow, I think, uh, Monday. Today's Friday, it's going to snow Monday. Um, it's done, either way, it's cold right now. It's, it's just cold, and I'm afraid if I put them in a chicken tractor, they're just not going to make it. They're just too little. So we're instead, we're going to put them in here in this little pen. If you remember, that's the one that we built for the pony, but we had to let him go. So now we're going to use it for the chickens. Um, since they need a little bit of warmth, we're actually going to put a heat lamp on there. And to really, really keep it warm, really keep it safe, we actually found something on the property that is going to come in handy. This old camper is finally going to come in handy. About two years ago, the neighbor saw me cutting down all these trees, all this brush, and he had one little, it wasn't really that big of a tree that fell over close to his house. So he asked me, he goes, hey man, can you come help me cut this tree down and uh, honestly drag it out of my property and of course drag it over to my property. Um, he said, how much would you charge me? And I said, well, honestly, we're good, man. I'll, I'll just help you out, right? So I did it for him. And then at the end of it, he actually said, you know what? There actually is that camper right, right at the edge of my property that you can have. Take it, use it for whatever you want. And I was like, no, I'm fine with it. I, I really don't need it because honestly, the more things you gather around the farm, uh, the more clutter you're going to have when you really don't need it, right? So I didn't really want it. But at the end, he said, just take it. It's honestly halfway on my property, halfway on your property, so just keep it. And now, it's actually gonna come in handy. I left it there, uh, hoping the goats uh, would get up in there when it rained. But no, they have their nice little pen, their nice little shed, so they really don't use it much. We're finally gonna put it to work. We're gonna put it inside this little pen. That way, it can really be an enclosed little shelter. Um, that should really keep those little chicken warm, and it should give them a better possibility of living at least a few more weeks. Honestly, two minds think better than one. I have to give credit to my dad. Great job to my dad because he's the one that thought about the idea about the camper. Honestly, what I was going to do, since this has a low ceiling, I was just going to cover that up with tarp. That side with tarp and that side with tarp. But still, that leaves a lot of open space where these chicks could get cold. So my dad told me about the camper. Great idea. And then I'll give credit to myself that I was the one that thought about turn it sideways because check this out. See, now we got a little door that opens at any given time. We're going to throw the chickens through there. We're not going to be afraid of them running out. When we're done, door closes. That worked out very well. And I'm sorry if you guys don't have a camper laying around, guys, but I'm using what I have. The whole thing is that you guys get out there, have some fun. You, whatever you got, 
get creative and things will work out at the end. Now, let's throw them in there. And that's a wrap guys in total we counted about 60 chickens all right that's 60 chickens for free and that was only at a one chicken house so as you can see we could have had i'm talking about way way more than 100 free chickens that i could have picked up but i really want to give these a try there is no guarantee that they're going to make it as a matter of fact if you guys have dealt with chickens like this please comment down below and let me know if am i wasting my time should, should i uh try a certain kind of feed that might help them out um give me a little bit of advice guys because this this is the first time but again whenever my buddy called me and told me that hey do you want free chickens if not we're gonna actually put them in the ground then at that point i made a decision and said you know what i'm gonna go get them i'm gonna give it a try and hopefully it works out and if it does work out of course i will definitely let you guys know so stay tuned please subscribe to the channel like this video and hopefully in about two weeks you see these chickens be pretty big you know at least to the height where they're ready to be a part of our family you know bless our family with a good meal so stay tuned guys because we have a lot more videos coming your way of the chickens now we're only down to goats but we're gonna get a few more i think i said pygmy goats that's what i'm looking at right now a few other projects coming this way so again thank you very much for being here i really do appreciate you guys support until next time get out there and have fun now before you go anywhere, I do want to give you a little bit of an update. We brought these chickens in Friday. Today is Wednesday and I want to show you of how we're keeping up with them. This was just a quick little protection that we put up mainly for our dog. Where's she at? Where you at? Yeah, you? She's being very curious. So it's mainly because of that. And right now because it's so warm outside, I decided to let them out a little bit especially because I'm here and I can watch them. But now I'm going to put them all back in there. Alright, so you see that is where I put their water. We got holes all across it and they're actually drinking over there. Alright, so you get to see it actually being used right now. So that's their water. And then I bought them a little, well, excuse that chicken that's in the way. But I bought them this little feeder. So I fill it up and honestly it only lasts them about two days at the most and they emptied all out also right here on the rail I try to put a little bit of feet on there as well that way they don't all bunch up in one area let's see where all these chickens are at 
I gotta chase y'all down and put y'all back in. Cinderella being nosy over there. So yes, it's been five days since they got here and unfortunately we already lost about 12 of them but it was kind of expected um even when i was loading them up i was trying to look for the ones that were, were still running around that you could see that had plenty of energy but every now and then i would grab one that was looking a little bit sick try to give them a little bit of a of a chance but unfortunately 12 of them have already been gone but the rest of them were actually doing pretty good surprisingly it's been pretty co cold lately uh, just Saturday it dropped down to like 30 degrees and they don't have a heat lamp but they are tough they're in that camper that keeps them very warm because I keep them inside and close that um, window there I believe at least more than half are gonna make it I've been giving them chick starter feed uh, I'm gonna do that for about a week and a half and then they're at the end I'm gonna give them uh, probably a little bit more cracked corn uh, just to kind of give them a little bit more of a fluffiness, you know, try to try to build them. So hopefully they give us good results. So guys, stay tuned because in about two more weeks, and if I see them get of a good size, then I will make a video and show you guys of what the result was of getting all these free chickens. Now we'll conclude this video. Until next time, y'all have a good one and have a blessed day, guys. Mm -hmm.